Hey everybody, Joy here. It's um, the end of March. It's actually Easter Sunday, later in the afternoon. Jerry and I are all alone today for some reason. <laughs> so anyway, he's getting some work done, I'm getting some work done. We went to church this morning and I made us a nice lunch. So I, he said, what are you gonna do the rest of the afternoon? And I said, I guess I'll go start some snippets. <laughs> so if you watched my last video, I made a Peggy Sager's silhouette pattern. It was this one. I don't remember its name. It's some girl's name, probably. But I went on her website, and I don't see this pattern there anymore. And I don't know why, because it's really a nice pattern. So if you all know about her and know about the pattern, let me know. But I can't find it there anymore. But I wanted to show you. You all liked it so much, and a lot of you asked me for the pattern. I wanted to show you the first version I made. The first version I made, I made out of an ITY knit. Remember I told you they're looser? So this one's still a little snug, but not as snug as that pink one was. So what I did was I used a border print. I didn't sew anything on here that was pink. It was on this fabric already. It was a border print, probably fabricmarkfabrics.com. And you can see how I used the border here at the bottom of the sleeves. And I use the border here on the drape. So I like this blouse so much, I, I never even wear it. I'm not wearing it today. I put it on to show you. <laughs> but I keep thinking, oh, I'll wait until I go to church or something, someplace nice to wear it, because I like it so much. So you'll see it's a little snug in the back still. But not as bad as that other one was. I'm not going to put any gussets in this or anything. If I wore some um, pants that didn't have any pockets, it would probably fit me a lot better. So, did you notice anything? <laughs> Do you notice anything behind me? Look at my mirror. It needs to be washed. It's up on the wall now. Look. Look at that. I know. We just absolutely weren't able to open and close these side pieces at all on the carpet. Even on the floor you wouldn't have been able to because it's so heavy. So our cabinet man just happened to be here doing a different job the other day and I asked him if there was anything he could do about this mirror. I also went on the Home Depot website and um, I told Jerry I think they said something about you could hang it on the wall. So I went to the website, and sure enough, it said the mirror comes with hanging hardware. Well, this mirror came with nothing but itself. No hanging hardware. So I was chatting with some robot or something there at Home Depot. They were terribly sorry. They would see if they could send it. I asked them what it was. Was it a couple nails? Was it a piece of wire? They didn't know. They had no idea. So while I was talking to the robot, Craig came. Craig's our cabinet guy. And... Um, I brought him up here and asked him if he had any idea, and oh my gosh, you won't believe how he hung it. I don't know if I can show you how he hung it or not. He did it the coolest way. He took a board, like a long board. I don't know if it's a one by one or a two by one or a two by four or whatever, but it's kind of a skinny board and about this long. And he had two of them. He put one on the mirror. He put one on the wall. Then you lift the mirror up and you slide it down so the board on the mirror hits the one on the wall. And they each have a 45 degree angle. And so they connect with each other and they just hold. It is so cool. Let me see if I can see behind the mirror. If I can, I'll show you. Maybe a little bit. Let me, let me see if I can show you. See, I think you can see it. Let me see if I can do close up. See the 45 degree angle? So the top board is on the mirror. The bottom board is on the wall. And so you just slide the mirror down and it hooks on that. And of course there's a bunch of screws holding both boards on. Down here on the bottom you can see that's how it's cut with the 45 degree. So he was going to hook another board down there. He's going to put another board so it would be hooked on two places. But it turned out it was hooked just fine. Plenty secure. So that board's just there to hold it out away from the wall. The same as the top board does. Isn't that awesome? He hung it just above the baseboard on the bottom of the floor. Yes! <laughs> 
So, this isn't in my Amazon store or anything. I have no connection with Home Depot. <laughs> But you be sure and get you one if you want a three-way mirror and you have a wall big enough to put it on. Hey, I cut my hair. I sure did. So that's all I have to tell you right now. It's yes, version number one of the Peggy Sagers boss. I think I put yesterday or whenever my last video was, always look in the description box if you want to know a pattern number or a pattern name. And I'm pretty sure I put the pattern name. So if y'all want to call Peggy and ask her if you can still get this pattern, um, the name is there. And I will put it down under this video, too. Or I'll put it here or here or wherever it ends up. <laughs> here I am a few days later. <laughs> this snippet's taking a long time because I had to go see a new doctor. Jerry had to go see a new doctor. And then I had to go get some blood taken and just new doctor stuff. Nothing serious. <laughs> So finally, I have a day with nothing on my schedule, and you're seeing my first try-on of this balloon dress. <laughs> what is it about gathers that just look horrible on me? I don't understand. If people can make gathers, three rows of them going down their body, and they look amazing. I don't seem to be able to figure out my size in a gathered garment. I'll work on it. <laughs> Actually, I think they look like they're supposed to look according to the pattern. What pattern is it? Here's the pattern. It's Style Arc Montana Mini Dress. And I thought, oh, that would be so easy. I'll just whip that right up. <laughs> well, the first thing I found out is it's kind of like that other one I just made. Cut two tops, cut two backs, make two tops, put one top inside the other top, and line, you know, make it be a self-lining. I don't want to do that. I want it light and cool, and I don't want two layers. This isn't a coat, it's a dress. <laughs> so it was supposed to be much longer. I didn't have enough fabric, but it's a midi, and it comes to, if I could show you, like um, halfway down my calf, so I think that's midi enough. But it's got to be hemmed. The sleeves haven't been hemmed yet. This has to be hemmed. The neck has to be faced. So the neck will be 5 eighths inch. You're only supposed to do a quarter. I'm doing 5 eighths because I can't stand high necks, as you know. <laughs> I took a tuck from here to here so it didn't gape. And you can't even see that that little tuck is there. I fixed the paper pattern properly where you cut the neck into over into the armhole or down into the bust point, but I didn't do that on this because it was already cut out. But so that's a way you can fix it, you know, if it's not too obvious. There's just a tuck right there. Can you see? Can you see inside? Tuck duty. <clears throat> so I don't know. It's got pockets, you know, I love pockets. Um to me, I just look like <laughs> somebody blew a bunch of hot air up my dress. Although it's cool, so I guess I'll say they blew a lot of cold air up my dress. <laughs> oh, with the wind here today. Oh my goodness, it's just normal wind today, but it has been the most unbelievable wind. I should have taken my camera out and done a video for you. You just can't believe how windy it's been here for weeks. So today the wind isn't that terrible, but... Um, I don't know. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Will I ever wear it? Probably what I'm going to do is turn it into a top. <laughs> I do that with more dresses. And then I'd have enough fabric to, you know, give away. Uh, my friend Sherry Marie can make doll clothes with it. But I like a dress. A dress is so comfortable. Have you heard Judy Kessinger talk about dresses and how she was like me and she never, ever, 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 ever wore them? And she said, I know a lot of you don't like your legs. You don't want to show your legs. She said, I don't care what my legs look like. They're my legs. They can look at my dress, not my legs. So I'm trying to get to that point. Um, but, you know, I have to wear the compression hose. And um, I guess they're okay. People wear tights all the time. What's the difference? So why do you have your hands in your pockets? <laughs> Is it? 
supposed to be this big. <laughs> I think I made this high stand. <laughs> Just something about gathers. I don't know what it is. Philly made this dress too a long time ago. To me, it would look so much better if it didn't have the gather part and it was just straight all the way down. Oh, you can see I need a bigger bus dart. I put uh, FBA in it. What did I put? One inch? I put one inch. and um, But I just gathered it. And I think it would work out a lot better if I took a tuck. And so, if I took a tuck, then I could cut that much out of the skirt... Maybe I'll do that. Take the tucks, cut the extra out of the skirt, that way it wouldn't be so gathered. How can I do that and not ruin the pockets? Maybe I'll just leave it alone and wear it to do the laundry. <laughs> it's like every time Sherry messes up his shirt or it gets old or it gets holes, he said, I'm going to save that shirt to use on the bulldozer. <laughs> so maybe I could ride on Jerry's bulldozer with this dress. I don't know. Okay, I have questions. Somebody asked me about the mirror. So here's my triple mirror. Somebody asked me, where did I get it? I got it at Home Depot. I have no connections, no affiliate, no anything. I had a really hard time finding a triple mirror anywhere, full length. And they happened to have it. So I ordered it from them. I paid a lot for it because there's a difference in glass and I wanted to make sure it had good reflection and good it needs to be washed actually oh yeah it needs to be washed I gotta do that next <laughs> so um, I paid six hundred dollars for it I got some kind of a little discount I don't remember what it was for I think it came up to 598 or something so love the mirror love the way it looks love that it can be flat love that it can be Fold it in, and it was hung. I showed you earlier in this video how it was hung. So, the main thing is, you have to have a place big enough to put it. You can see I've got this whole wall here, which now I can't put anything in front of. This mirror is just all this wall is going to have on it. You're going to have to hang it up. I'm sure I talked about that in the beginning of the video. Somebody else said, how do you cut your hair? I get out of the shower. I put on um, a wrap a towel around myself and clip it and I get my cutting scissors and I get a comb and I come up here and I turn the sides of the mirror in so I can see the back of my hair. See, I can see the back here, I can see the back here, I can see the sides, of course I can see the sides without a triple mirror, but you can't see the back. And you have to be able to see the back. Look, I can see a whole bunch of me. You have to be able to see the back in order to cut it. You know, I have to cut it from here up. And so you have to hold it out and you have to be able to see it or you'll cut it all crazy. Now, I don't have a hard hairdo. I've had the same hairdo forever. Why do I cut my own hair? Because every time I had somebody else cut it, I came home in tears. And I ended up just trying to cut it myself. When I was a little girl, mother used to take us girls, she had three of us, to the um, hair place. What do you call a hair place? A salon. And every time she had her hair cut and fixed, and back then they had those great big hair dryers, it took a long time. And she would take us, and we didn't get our hair cut, we just sat there in the waiting area. And so I guess I'm a visual learner, and I was just interested in, oh, I wonder how they do that. And I just watched. I watched for hours and hours. Anytime my mother went, I watched. And I watched how the girl cut. I watched how the girl held the scissors. I watched what the scissors looked like. I watched the comb. I watched the brush. I watched the curling iron. I watched the hair dryer, whatever they used. I watched how it was plugged in. I watched how long the cord was. I watched how they did the hair. I just watched. <laughs> and I just started doing my own hair because of what I learned just by watching other people cut hair. So I, I've never been properly trained. Um, kind of self-taught there. <laughs> 
Second try on, same dress. I went downstairs in this a while ago, right after I showed it to you, and Jerry was down there, and he said, there's something wrong with that. And I said, something wrong with what? He said, that bodice, you need to do something. You look like you've gained 20 pounds. <laughs> I said, I'm working on it. So I have bus darts, bus dart, bus dart. Um, I now has the center front seam because I took three inches out of the width of this. So once the neck is done, and the cap sleeve is hemmed. I think it's okay. What do you think? I haven't shown it to him. <laughs> I've got to look in my three-way mirror. It still feels a little fluffy right here, but you know, you have to get it on over your head. You know, that's the number one thing you have to keep in mind when you're making a garment like this that's a woven with no zipper, no buttons. I mean, if you want it to be fitted, like I wear most of my clothes, you're gonna have to do a zipper or some buttons. The next thing I'm gonna make is a new blouse. <laughs> That has buttons. <laughs> We're just going to call this the tuck dress. It's got a tuck here, a tuck here, a tuck here, and two tucks in the back. <laughs> so I'm going to go finish my tuck dress. Bye for now. <laughs> so this is Friday. Must be about April 5 by now. So one more question I have to answer. And that's about the gusset. Remember the gusset? Did you see that I can hang stuff on my mirror? Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Just little things make me happy, you know? They really do. So, here's the top that everybody liked so much. And I like so much. So I want to show you, I'll turn it inside out and I'll show you the gusset and then I'll tell you how I made it, okay? So here's the inside of the blouse and you can see the gusset. It's just a triangle, that's all it is. So how did I make it? You can see there's a seam allowance around it. Do you see the seam allowance? See, I can't see it, you might be able to see it. <laughs> there's a seam allowance all around this triangle, all the way up to the point. There's a seam allowance. So, not not being a professional by a long shot, I just thought, hey, how hard could it be to put a triangle in here? So I tried it on. You know, I had it on. You saw me with it on the other day. Oh, wait, this is kind of strange the way it turns back around. Hmm. You know, the front is two pieces. So I put it back on. And, you know, it was just too snug around here. And um, I really, really like the fabric. You know, I told you, this is, this is really, really expensive fabric for me. <laughs> I'm a real tight one when it comes to buying fabric. So I put it on, and I decided I needed more room from here down to the bottom. So I just measured from here to the bottom. So let's say that was 10 inches from the top to the bottom. And up here, I was okay. So I was gonna start it where I was okay, and then gradually, gradually, gradually get bigger. Hence the triangle shape. Yeah, a couple of you said I need to hem the edge of this, so I'll do that. Okay, so I took the triangle. Measurements. How tall I wanted it, and how wide I wanted it at the bottom. And it looks like I made it about six inches. So I just went and I got a piece of paper. You know, the rolls of paper I have that I use to draw patterns on? And I just rolled out a piece of it, and I drew the triangle. A point at the top, down at the bottom, six inches across the bottom. Just a perfect triangle. That included the hem at the bottom. This didn't have a hem yet, okay? So that went all the way to the bottom, and then I had to hem the triangle part too, right? So I took the perfect triangle and then all the way around it, I drew a quarter inch extra, except at the bottom. The bottom I didn't because the blouse didn't have a hem yet. And if it did have a hem, I unhemmed it and fixed it. But <laughs> anyway, so I put a quarter inch up both sides of the triangle and I added maybe a half inch up at the very, very tippy top. Then I took the blouse apart on the sides and I simply 
sewed each side to the side of the triangle. That's it. You saw how I did it. So that's what I did. I don't know if I try to do this next year if I'll remember. What did I try to do? I tried to put binding, bias binding on the neck of that blue dress. The blue dress is done. It's in my closet. It's okay. <laughs> I won't wear it when I make videos, but I'll wear it. I decided to just bind the neckline because I didn't have a facing and they wanted you to make two tops, remember? And then face it that way with two tops. So I didn't want two tops. I just wanted one top. So I decided, oh, I'll just do my spiny. And so I noticed that they gave you that choice in the pattern and it just showed this great big long strip. Well, my lightning fast mind, oh, there's this new thing in my life where I can't have any caffeine. I have a new doctor and I told the new doctor I had reflex and I was taking Prilosec and I was worried about what the Prilosec was doing because there's so many side effects. And so he's trying to get me to not have to take Prilosec anymore. So he said, for two weeks, <laughs> I'm having a totally, totally bland diet. No chocolate, nothing acidic whatsoever, no coffee, no tea, caffeinated or not caffeinated, not allowed to have it. So, you know what I'm drinking in the morning? I put my cup under the Keurig. I put no K-cup in it, and I just run hot water out of it. And then I've got this little shaker of cinnamon and sugar that I put on my toast and I put about a fourth of a teaspoon of that in the hot water and I stir it and I stir it and I stir it and I stir it and it doesn't matter because I've got a leftover cup in here right now <laughs> next to my computer and you look down in it and all that cinnamon's laying down in the bottom of the cup it was yesterday too but at least it gives it a little bit of taste and the reason I like coffee in the first place is because it's hot it's the reason I like hot tea it's hot so I thought, well, and I can't do lemon. I know, use lemon, use lemon. I would, but I'm not allowed to use lemon. Not allowed to use any kind of citrus. Not allowed to have any chocolate whatsoever. Oh my. And then I found out, I've shrunk an inch. I'm only 5'4 instead of 5'5. Five five. So now I'm suddenly fat. What do they call, oh, they call it overweight. I'm overweight, and I know I am in the, in the middle here. And so I need to lose 10 pounds to be not overweight, being 5'4". And um, going on this don't eat anything you like diet seems to be <laughs> knocking pounds off of me. But you know, the thing about it is, if the pounds don't come off here, you know, what's the point? You're still gonna be the exact same shape even if you weigh 10 pounds. So gotta do that. Now what was I telling you? I was in the middle of telling you something. <laughs> You know how my mind just flies off here and there, here and there. I told you I was going to go hem this. Uh, I don't remember whatever it was. It must not have been too important when I edit this whole thing. John, you were supposed to tell him this, that, or the other thing. <laughs> I jumped back in here for a minute because as I was editing, I realized what I forgot to finish telling you about the bias binding. <laughs> and how'd you like watching two of me at the same time? I didn't like that. I don't like that image in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bias binding. So, I needed something to finish the neck because I didn't make the pattern the way they said. But they said, if you don't want to make it this way, cut out this big long strip and use it in the neck and the armholes. And I thought, I'll just cut out my own strip. Well, as I said, I completely, totally forgot that the strip has to be biased. Very, very important. It has to be biased. Y'all think I know so much and I do so many things. I'm telling you, I spend half my time undoing things. I sewed that thing on there. It was a mess. Uh, I clipped it. I cut it. I <laughs> did everything. And I could not get it to lay right because it wasn't on the bias. So today I went in there and I cut a strip of knit. Knit fabric. Because I knew it would stretch. And I put it around the neck and I sewed it down deeper than what I had on there already. And then I cut off all that stuff I had on there already. So the neck is bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> but that's fine. I don't like little necks anyway, as you all know. So if you're going to put bias binding on something, be sure it's cut on the bias. That's my tip of the day. <laughs> so the, the weather here, I've probably mentioned it several times through this video. The wind. You can hear it howling in the house. 
you can hear it howling outside. Today it isn't. Today it's nice. But Jerry's gone someplace to talk to some man about building a new barn. And, oh my, can you see me in the mirror? How, where are you seeing me at? I know I'm here. Where's that person? Oh, hi. <laughs> you gotta watch your triple wears. They'll show what you don't want shown. I've been cleaning house. Um, I went to the new doctor. I told you about the new doctor. He had me come in for blood and pee in the cup. And that all came out just fine, just fine. So the only thing is, and he didn't tell me this, I just noticed it because they give you all these results of these tests now. And um, it said that I was overweight. You know, the BMI index or whatever. So I wasn't before because I was 5'5". Five five. <laughs> but I'm going to try to lose some weight because I want to be healthy. I do not want to spend the rest of my years hurting and being sick. I want to feel good. <laughs> And I want to look as good as I can. I realize I'm going to age and you can't stop it. I tell you, it's been depressing me lately. It seems like 70s. It goes a whole lot faster than 60s, too. <laughs> I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, what's this? And what's this? And where'd this spot come from? And what's this down here? It's, oh, oh, I know, I know. But you have to learn to love yourself. The alternative is you died when you were really pretty when you were 25, right? So... Thank God we're alive and well, and I have the most amazing husband. He's been so sweet lately. He feels good again. It, you know, he was so grumpy and so hard to get along with, but I understand that now because I was so grumpy after I got home from the doctor, and he told me I couldn't have any coffee, and I couldn't eat anything I liked, and I thought, you know, he said, well, you could get this, and you could get that. You could get cancer of the esophagus. You could get ulcers. You could this. Have you ever had that camera put down your throat? I said, no, and I'm never going to. Have you ever had the camera put up the other end? No, and I'm never going to. <laughs> I came home, and I just thought, good grief. I feel like I've been to the Roto-Rooter instead of the doctor. <laughs> All right. This is too long. I'm getting crazy. So... I'm going to say goodbye for now. I don't know when I'll be back or what I'll be doing, but you'll know about it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>